Zoom provides video conferencing for collaboration in working environment, online classes, and other communications. You can also use it as phone or messaging without a video. Zoom architecture includes client-side application and server-side infrastructure. The key components are Zoom client, data centers, public cloud, and web infrastructure. Zoom Client is a software installed on users' computers or devices. After you install it, you can schedule the meeting, log in, and have the meeting sessions. You can also record or share your screen with others in the meeting. Behind the scene, the Zoom Client is a software to let you access the Zoom servers. The client performs the video encoding, which is compressing video and audio data, and sent to the other side. At the receiving side, the software decodes the data in time. The servers are hardware and software for hosting meetings. They route the traffic and provide the associated services, such as authentication and notification. Zoom servers are located in data centers, public cloud, and corporate networks. The data centers are the major places where the Zoom servers are. The servers are organized into meeting zones. Inside each zone, there are multimedia routers, MMR. Multimedia router is for routing and the dynamic optimization of stream traffic. There are also zone controllers, ZC. Zone controller is for the management of all activity that occurs within a given meeting zone. It reports the status to the global cloud controller, which is in the public cloud. The HTTP tunnels, HT, work as connection points for some clients, such as the traditional phone. The public cloud is like any other cloud hosting the web applications, web services. Additionally, the cloud controllers sit here. They are used for syncing meeting between public cloud and the data centers. Some Zoom servers are located inside the corporate network. It is also called on-premise deployment. The internal users connect to the internal Zoom servers directly. The communication avoids public traffic and have a higher degree of security and performance. There is a firewall between internal network and the public cloud. Web infrastructure performs a task other than video conferencing. It hosts the zoom.us website and the SDK. SDK is used by the external developers who want to build system around Zoom. Zoom builds a distributed cloud-native infrastructure from ground up. From the beginning, Zoom have built geographically distributed data center globally. They use a network of private links to connect many others. The users can connect to the data center closest to their locations. The Zoom servers serve real-time video conferencing in their data centers or inside corporate networks. What makes Zoom outperform other competitors such as Skype and other video conference software by Cisco, Google, or Facebook. The major reason is easy to use. The connection is stable. QoS is a measurement of the quality of the computer network. Zoom implements QoS in the application layer at the client side. The client software optimizes the video and audio for a particular type of these devices. It ensures the performance of the communication. If you are interested in the technical details, please click the link in the description below. That's it for how Zoom works, architecture explained. Please leave your comment below. I'm Vivian. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. I will see you soon.